So we're here with Guy Mo, scored the game winning goal in overtime. What did you see on that play? Well, uh, second half of uh, the overtime, the coach was like, you guys have five minutes. I was like, well, this is all I need. Five minutes should be enough for us to uh, come out with the victory. But I had no idea if it was gonna, if it was gonna be me to score it, uh, the winning goal. But like, still, I, uh, I put everything I got up there and then I saw the op open opportunity and I took it. So it was uh, like a header that got kind of knocked down a little uh, bit? No, it was not a header. Like uh, okay. one of us, uh, the center back just like shoulder it and then I just make the run through behind the, uh, the center back from uh, center back and then it was an open shot and yeah. I just take on my left foot. What was the feeling like when you oh. see that ball hit the net? <laughs> That was a great feeling because as you as you guys uh, saw throughout the game, we've been fighting we've been fighting so hard to come out with a victory, but um, you know we couldn't couldn't uh, finish. So to score in the winning goals was the best feeling ever. The best feeling ever. Yep. Right. Congratulations. Well, thank you. We're here yeah. with Peyton Spencer. Another shutout on uh, the day. What did you see uh, from from back there? on how the team played today. Honestly, I think it was a really complete team performance across the board. I'm grateful my backline. They put in a lot of hard work, and thankfully they don't make it too tough on me. I, I haven't seen the stats, but I don't think I had too many saves, and that's because of those guys. They were winning everything. They're animals back there. Mm -hmm. So there was the one in the second half. Uh, Olaf guy got through one-on-one. -on -one. Did you yeah. get a touch on that? Yeah, a little okay. quick save. Kind of throw everything I can at it and just see if we can. Well, I can't. I was outside the 18, too, which probably wasn't my brightest idea because I can't use these anymore. But, right. Uh, yeah, so just tried to slide him and thankfully got a little touch on it, got it wide. I'd say that was a pretty big save. <laughs> Probably a little timely there with 10 minutes left and we wouldn't want to concede done. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What were your feelings when you saw that ball finally hit the net there at the end of the game? Honestly, just the wave of relief. I think that we'd been grinding the whole game and I think we wanted it so bad. So just to see that ball hit the net, so there's just no better feeling. All right. How does the team move forward from this heading into... Uh, Mayak play now. We got uh, Augsburg Tuesday night at 7, so it's going to be a quick turnaround. We're probably try to get some recovery in the day mm -hmm. tomorrow and start getting ready for them Monday. It's going to be quick, so hopefully keep it rolling. So All what's right, the feeling you. as a coach there at, at the end of a big game, see the ball hit the net and your overtime winners on homecoming? Uh, well, apparently that's what we like to do. So why play 90 minutes when you can play 105? Yeah. Uh, so we've, yeah, four of our six games, I think, have been in overtime. Uh, it's not how I'd like to live my life, man. I'm dying on the sideline, but um, we were leaning on them. Uh, I think the shots would probably show that when I look at them. Um, but the boys just kept believing and kept grinding and kept getting after it. And, and a little fortunate uh, flick in the box, and, and we're on the end of it, and he put it away. Uh, yeah, it's thrilling. It's thrilling to start 2-0 in the league. It's thrilling to still be undefeated for the boys. Um, but uh, we know we've got Augsburg coming up next week, and they're a heck of a heck of a team uh, program that's pretty organized, and, and we know we're going to have to play a great game on their pitch to get any points. So uh, we're excited, and then we just start looking forward. That's what we do. So Peyton in the back line picking up another uh, clean sheet today. What can you say about how they're playing? Well, I mean, uh, we had two shutouts all of last year, and Peyton has four starts this year and four shutouts. Uh, you know, and the, and the back line in front of him is, is doing work. Uh, a couple new faces in there, and uh, I'm just, yeah, I'm proud of the boys for, for doing what they do. I mean, I don't think we probably gave up ten shots today would be my guess. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're going to try to chase a title or do some bigger things on a season, you've got to be able to have a shutout. You've got to be able to shut teams out. And, uh, and we're showing that we can do that with some regularity, and then hopefully that continues. So it's a pretty quick turnaround for the Augsburg game. Uh, what are you going to do to prepare the team for that game? Well, we already started. We've got our chocolate milk. Uh, yeah, we, we do all the things we can. Uh, it's homecoming here, but the boys know that tonight's not the night to be doing anything other than recovering and getting ready for Tuesday. Uh, we'll be out on the pitch on the turf tomorrow, uh, and then we'll get out on Tuesday, and then we'll go uh, lay the best we've got at Oxford. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.